in these temperatures. Cannot believe we are halfway through November already. I know. October I know. just crept by. It was a snail. And now yes. here goes November and it's just going to race past us. Just boom. It felt like it was just the other day that we had that 115 degree record <laughs> at early September. Remember that? And now it was a weekend just in the 60s. Here's a look at the sun rising over downtown. Quiet and calm. Definitely cold out there as you're grabbing your jackets to get your day started. I was telling Kevin a story the other day. It was one of the first cool days that we had and I was standing at pickup waiting for my daughter and a mom next to me saw me staring at the clouds as I usually do and she goes it was so cold this morning and I said I know isn't it great and she stopped and went here one of those <laughs> so many of us are loving the cold many of us are just like oh my goodness it is too cold right especially for our mountain friends as the sun is coming up over Tajby we have been down in the 20s for several hours if you had to park outside you're giving that car extra time to defrost a bit hazy here on the valley floor, but we can see our mountains off in the distance. That air quality unhealthy for sensitive groups today, and there is a bit of fog north of the county line. Fresno at 39, San Francisco 45, Sacramento now at 36. We're dropping down to these morning lows, and now as the sun comes up, we climb back up. But it's a pretty stable day, and so with that, this 40 here in Bakersfield will climb to the low 60s, a little bit warmer than yesterday, but still about 5 degrees below average because we have some cool air in place from yesterday's passing system. A little more sunshine, some high pressure, some of that stability I mentioned brings us some fairly bad air quality today into tomorrow. I say bad if it's anything unhealthy for sensitive groups and higher on the index, right? But watch our next wind event. This is for tomorrow night. We're going to have a system dropping into the Great Lakes. That doesn't bring us any rain or snow, but it does create this northeasterly flow. So tomorrow night and Wednesday, that'll help to stir up some of our smog here on the valley floor, but it'll also drop to temperatures a bit and create some 50 to 50 mile per hour wind, 50 to 55 mile per hour wind gusts through our mountain and desert communities, mainly on Wednesday. Then that system is out of here. We'll have a northwesterly flow to end the week, keeps us nice. Another system coming through for Sunday. You see that forecast keeps all the rain and snow well to the north, but it does give us a nice westerly breeze. So all of that said, this is what it means for your seven day forecast. 63 today, a little bit cooler tomorrow because again, we have that northeasterly flow. We'll recover on Wednesday, but it'll stay breezy in the mountains. And then we start climbing things back up Thursday. We're back down Friday, back up for the weekend ahead. All of this means passing clouds, but no rain or snow in your forecast for all of Kern County. Very important for those of you heading into this weekend because many kids heading in fall break, right? And if you are traveling for fall break next week, if you are leaving Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you are good to go. As for Isabella, 62 today, and then you're going to climb up to a warmer day Thursday before you cool back down. Tajby, 50s in the forecast each afternoon for the next week. Freezing overnights. We'll grab it.